OK, now I'm sure you've heard about the national curriculum, the Australian curriculum. The, te the technologies learning area is one of seven subjects within the Australian curriculum. And the Australian curriculum has been in place now for over a decade. It's currently going through a major revision, the first major revision, and will be changing somewhat. But it's useful to give you some background into how this curriculum has developed. Of course, throughout your teaching career, you are going to face several curriculum changes. One is occurring just at the moment, and you're sort of in between um, the previous curriculum and the updated curriculum. But throughout your teaching career, you will face a number of major curriculum changes. So the Australian curriculum has been a big one, and it's gone through a series of st stages. Now, also, it's useful for you to have a bit of an understanding of how computer education has changed over the years. Yourselves have, may have experienced some computer education in your own teaching and learning, or sorry, in your own learning as part of your own schooling. And it has changed quite dramatically um, started off very much focused on mathematics. In fact, computing was taught as part of mathematics. It then changed very much so, so that it was about how to learn, how to use new tools, particularly office applications. And then it's changing again to focus on how to solve problems through learning coding and about data and information systems. Next, it'll probably change quite dramatically in, in relation to artificial intelligence. That's sort of presaging what may occur in the next few years. But it's useful to get a bit of an understanding of how computer education has come into, into being. Design and technology education has followed a similar route. Um, it focused very much initially on industrial arts and on home economics. Um, the boys would go off and learn how to make, do woodwork and metalwork and the girls would go off and learn how to um, cook and make clothing. So that has changed quite dramatically over the years, and it's now very much focused on a design process where it doesn't really matter about what they're learning. It's about learning how to design and create new things and solve problems through a design process. But yes, they'll still learn some of those original skills as part of that process. So have a look at the course notes and about how the curriculum has changed. I've then broken down the elements of the Australian curriculum documents that you need to be familiar with, um, the rationale and the subject aims, probably the most important of all the aspects that you need to read about the curriculum. Because this frames the intent of the curriculum. So many teachers just go and look at the um, learning outcomes and content descriptors, and they lose sight of what the overall intent of the curriculum is. If you want to be a really good technologies educator, you need to read the rationale and aims and understand what is the purpose of students doing this subject or these two subjects as part of their learning. Now, as part of that, there'll be the core concepts. We've talked about those in terms of those thinking skills they become important when you understand the rationale and aims. But if you just jump straight to the content descriptors, you'll lose sight of all of that. And it'll simply go through and doing a whole series of activities without any overarching and cohesive design around your programs that you're going to en enact with your students. There'll be a series of key considerations and key connections, such as the general capabilities and the cross-curriculum priorities. There'll also be connections with other learning areas. Um, in digital technologies, for example, we have a very strong connection with the mathematics learning area, where in mathematics they learn how to acquire data, and in digital technologies we learn how to um, analyze and present that data in various ways. Then there'll be the levels in the curriculum. So in Technologies education, we have two year bands apart from um, prep, and the content is described in those two year bands about what students need to be learning in years three and four, for example, or five and six. And as part of that, we have the achievement standards, 
what students are expected to be able to demonstrate in terms of their learning after each of those bands. Then we have the content descriptors, which go into detail about what it is students should be learning in order to be able to uh, demonstrate those achievement standards. And then we have a series of elaborations which present different ways that students might learn those content descriptors. Now, one key element is they don't need to do all of the elaborations. The elaborations are there as examples of ways that you could engage your students with learning the content descriptors. But you can also come up with your own or go and find others on the internet. And we're going to look at a whole range of different ways of you coming up with your own content descriptors, sorry, your own elaborations, ways of achieving the content descriptors. Then finally, there is related content in how it relates to the general capabilities and the cross-curriculum priorities and the other subjects. And we have a glossary. Of course, there are going to be some new terminology that you are going to be unfamiliar with. And the glossary provides you with an understanding of what those terms mean. So all of those elements you need to be unpacking this week and becoming familiar with. Now, again, I don't expect you to memorize and be 100% familiar with them, but you need to be able to at least be able to go and find them when you need to as we go through the course and engage with various topics. Now, I've also provided you a couple of introductory videos from ACARA um, that describe the Australian curriculum that you can have a look at those and from another perspective understand what's involved in the Australian curriculum.